Hey guys, Kelly Weber with the Weber Group here at Keller Williams in Oradell, bringing you my Mortgage Minutes, and I'm back with David Torelli from Advisors Mortgage. Thank you for having me again. Again, right? Um, we're here talking about, last week we talked about closing costs. This week we're gonna talk about seller's concessions. So David, give us a little update on what a seller's concession is. Absolutely, so last week we did talk about you know closing costs. Um, you know, it's a lot you have to save up for, so you know, we like to find out, you know, different different options for people. Um, this way they can, you know, make their dream of buying a home come true. So one option uh, that, you know, is quite popular is called the seller's concession. And before you go on, seller's concession is basically you're financing your closing costs. Yes, yes. Okay. You're financing your closing costs, um, you know, so, I, you know, to make numbers easy, um, we did $500,000. Um, you know, someone wants to sell their house for five hundred thousand dollars, and they offer five hundred thousand dollars, but you only have, you know, seventeen thousand eight fifty for the down payment, which we talked about last week. Um, so you need, you know, you gotta muster up another ten thousand dollars for closing costs, money that you don't have. Um, what the seller's concession really allows you to do is you offer an extra ten thousand dollars on top of you know the five hundred thousand dollar offer price. So your new purchase price is $510,000. So I'm gonna stop you there for a second just to make sure everybody understands this. So the offer price is $500,000. They're, they're going to make their purchase price 510,000. So what they're doing is they're taking their $10,000 in closing costs, getting rid of them, and putting it right up here the seller is going to walk away with five hundred thousand dollars. The buyer is purchasing the home for five ten, so that ten thousand dollars is going back to them at the closing, mm. correct, to pay for the closing costs. Correct, and you know their new mortgage um, plan, you know, is based on five hundred ten thousand dollars. Their down payment is based on five hundred ten thousand dollars. Everything is based on their new. Um, you know, it's a five hundred ten thousand dollar buying a house. You know, you, you're off because you are offering ten thousand more than asking price. So that's how it gets becomes financed. Right. So the seller A has to agree to this. Um, the seller is not getting that extra ten thousand, and this is where it gets confusing. They're only walking away with five hundred. I can't say that enough. The other thing we have to make sure is that the house will appraise. For five hundred and ten thousand dollars. Right. So you know, if it doesn't appraise, if it only pay appraises for you know five hundred to seven thousand dollars, then they can only give another. They can only give seven thousand dollars towards closing, closing costs. We can't. If it's more, you can't pay more for a house than what it appraises for. Right. So that's important. So it's great if it works. But you have to make sure your realtor knows exactly what's going on. You have to make sure you're working with the lender that is giving you this information up front. This is one of many options out there. It's important that you find a loan officer that's going to research and look for what the best option is for you. That's why it's important to reach out to um, somebody like David Torelli. Um, our information is below, like always. I want to thank you for coming thank again for today. Again. And uh, next week, we're going to talk about conventional loans versus FHA loans. So I look forward to discussing that with you. Thank so thank you. you.